On Thursday, December 28, 2023, Gypsy Rose Blanchard emerged from the Chillicothe Correctional Center, finally experiencing freedom after more than seven years behind bars. Gypsy had been serving time following her conviction for second-degree murder in the 2015 death of her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. However, the case delved much deeper. For years leading up to the tragic event, Dee Dee grappled with a psychological disorder commonly recognized as Munchausen syndrome by proxy, formerly known as factitious disorder imposed on another, FDAA. This disorder drove her to misuse her authority as Gypsy's guardian and caregiver. Dee Dee adeptly persuaded numerous doctors that Gypsy suffered from various medical conditions, leading them to prescribe unnecessary medications and perform unwarranted procedures. Gypsy found herself ensnared in her mother's web of deception, feeling utterly trapped and without recourse. Consequently, in June 2015, at Gypsy's urging, she and her then-boyfriend, Nicholas Gojan, committed the heinous act of murdering Dee Dee before fleeing, despite swift apprehension, both Gojan and Gypsy received lengthy prison sentences, with Gojan facing life imprisonment without parole. Nevertheless, the case captured national attention, inspiring multiple TV shows and documentaries and transforming Gypsy into an unexpected social media figure both before and after her release. The manipulative tactics of Dee Dee Blanchard, since Gypsy Rose Blanchard's birth, her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, subjected her to unnecessary medical interventions and surgeries. D.D.'s actions align with the rare psychological disorder known as Munchausen syndrome by proxy, wherein a caregiver exploits their patient to garner sympathy and attention. Shortly after Gypsy's birth, D.D. began subjecting her to medical tests for sleep apnea, persisting even when results disproved the condition, despite lacking evidence. D.D. continued fabricating Gypsy's illnesses, confining her to a wheelchair and falsely asserting mental handicaps. Surgical procedures included the insertion of feeding tubes, ear tubes, and even removal of salivary glands. D.D. obstructed Gypsy's father's involvement and convinced him, like others, of Gypsy's ailments. Tragically, he remained oblivious to the truth, D.D.'s own profound illness, Gypsy's silent struggle with health, Gypsy Rose Blanchard remained oblivious to her mother's exploitation until she reached 19, realizing D.D.'s deviation from typical parental behavior. Despite suspicions regarding the necessity of her treatments, Gypsy believed her mother's fabrications. As Gypsy matured, D.D.'s abuse escalated into physical and verbal assaults. Manipulated into believing she was younger, Gypsy endured a cycle of coercion and abuse. Compounded by a fear of disbelief if she spoke out, in 2011, Gypsy attempted escape, but D.D. forcibly returned her. Threatened and deceived, Gypsy's attempt was met with violent retaliation, perpetuating her imprisonment within D.D.'s web of control. Gypsy's only solace came through a dependence on painkillers, a coping mechanism for her mother's relentless abuse, D.E.D.'s exploitation amidst tragedy, Hurricane Katrina forced Gypsy and D.D. to relocate to Missouri, conveniently erasing medical records. D.D. capitalized on Gypsy's supposed illnesses, garnering support from charities. Despite suspicions from a Missouri doctor in 2007, who recognized signs of Munchausen syndrome by proxy, no action was taken, leaving Gypsy vulnerable to continued abuse. Gypsy's foray into freedom, Gypsy's initial escape attempt in 2011 proved futile, as D.D.'s manipulation and violence thwarted her efforts. 
Despite DD's control, Gypsy found solace in online interactions, leading to a relationship with Nicholas Gojon. Their relationship, fraught with Gojon's criminal history and psychological issues, introduced Gypsy to BDSM practices, further entangling her in a tumultuous dynamic.